So congratulations, you have made it to the end of Astro 1003, hopefully with at least some of your sanity intact. We hope you've enjoyed this course and learned something from it. We also hope that we've been able to give you insight into how vastly long the human history is with stargazing and giving you some examples of how some of that sky knowledge can be used practically down here on the land. And with how big space is becoming and how important it is to our everyday lives, we hope you have a little bit of insight on how it works, why we use it, why you need it, and how you can have fun with it. And that is not this scary thing going to take over you, but it's going to be a part of our lives for years to come. Now, you will have noticed that there are substantial chunks of astronomy missing from this course. We've not talked about black holes. How can we not talk about black holes? We've actually missed out the Big Bang and the fatal origin of the universe. We've not talked about UFOs and space aliens. We've not talked about planets from other stars. Now, the reason for that is because all these topics and much more are covered in our other first year astronomy course, Astro 1001. Astro 1001 is co-taught by me and by Brian Schmidt. And so if you want to learn about those things, check it out. I will warn you, Astro 1001, unlike this course, does expect you to have a reasonable level of knowledge in maths and physics. That you studied them to at least year 10 level and you actually remember some of it. And of course, astronomy and astrophysics is a really difficult topic and we're of course all humans and it's very likely that along the way we've made some mistakes, so... Absolutely certain, in fact. Yes, and if you do happen to notice any of the mistakes that we've made along the way, please feel free to reach out and let us know. Now, it's taken us about a year to film this course, and it's been a very interesting year. We've been through COVID lockdowns and all sorts of catastrophes and crises. And we couldn't have done it all without the enormous help of our film crew, behind the cameras, Raphael and Tangiel. And so we're going to finish off by showing some behind the scenes footage so you get some idea of what we've spent the last year doing from a different point of view.